Welcome back to Best Buds. We're playing Monster Prom. So mm -hmm. crack a cold one and sit your ass down. Yeah. Everybody, everybody grab your grab some some gamer juice. <laughs> get your get your, uh, your your Cheetos and your your celery sticks and, and let's, your and your Steve Weisers. And let's all play. Yeah, come cracking up, crack up a cold one with the boys. Hey, by the way, we're in case you couldn't tell, we're playing that game you you people seem to like so much. Yeah, whoa, whoa, fun. whoa! What do you mean, you people? The people who watch us. <laughs> ah, yes. Ah. All right, my name. I mean, our fans are all called Spuddies. I, is... I feel like that should go on file. Are they Spuddies? Yeah. I think they're just the bo the, them boys. The boys. The boys. <laughs> them boys. The bo them boys. Yep. 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 Nobody. Nobody. I know it starts with an H. I don't know what it is yet, but it starts with an H. Hand, Poison. Hand no. Oh wait. You already did that. No, it's definitely an O, though. It's ho. It's still hoisin. It's just ho. It's no. just ho. It's hot just ho. One word, hot, hot thought. Hot thought. Hot thought, one word. Hot no, I'm a hoggus. Hoggus. I like it's hoggus. Like I like hoggus. So it's hoggus. Uh, who up next? Colin. Are we doing Richard this Park. again? Oh, wait. Yeah, we're doing gonna, this again. Am I going to be last again? No, you're going to be next. Uh, oh, thank you. You're welcome. Next. Stop it. Colin, are we going to pick the same name? No, of I course not. Or not. <laughs> that would be ridiculous. Um... Daryl. No, I'm not being Daryl. <laughs> Daryl Ronigan at your service. I don't want to be Daryl Ronigan. By the way, what did you guys crack open before? Was that Sprite? No, no. It was beer. It was beers. I don't We're know. having cold ones with the boys. Um, ah. Mine is a, a Mike's Hard Lemonade. Mike's Hard Mango, I will have you know. <laughs> you know, I want to ask again, I really want to crack on you, but I can't because I had it's to say It's so that shit, delicious. You know? Yeah, it is delicious. You can't I'm, I'm literally just drinking alcoholic apple juice, so whatever. Yeah. Listen, I, I take no shame in the beverages that I decide Shut on. Shut up, Colin! No, you can't be Colin! Dan and Dam! No! Dan, also be Colin! <laughs> I'm going to, because my goal is to shit on Colin. No! <laughs> and also... No. I'm Aww. Nick. Oh, whoa! Holy shit! This Dan, word! Dan guy. <laughs> I mean, that's Say hello to the bad guy, Chico! <laughs> if that's how we're going to play it, Don't you're going to aren't you? No. Kedrick? Kedrick? <laughs> you forgot the N. Yo, oh, how do you go back? <laughs> Kedrick. Can you tell Dan was listening to Kendrick Lamar before this started? We were bumping some humble. Is there a K or a CK? I, I, it's it's CK. a CK. You're just Kendrick. Kendrick? Is Actually, you're Kendrick! How do you space? Uh, you uh, click you on an open space. Any of the open space. Or I hit the space bar for you. Bam! Done. I don't know if Lamar's gonna fit. I'm just doing L. Kendrick L. <laughs> Kendrick L. <laughs> All right. Are you a he, she, or they? I, I, uh, he. Wait. My turn is a he, he, ho. I, a uh, she. Okay. Keyboard piece. Mm-hmm. Kendrickle. Here you go. Keyboard. Uh, thank you, baby. Are you going to make a he, he, who? <laughs> no, he's still going to be blue something. I hope so. Even though he's oh, not. No, oh, no, no! You dick! Wow. Can we go back? And we're back! Sorry, I hit the wrong button. He acts on himself name. red because he's a child. My name. Is blue. <laughs> no, I'm not blue anymore. Are you red He's herring? Redford. I'm not. Are you a red herring? Oh. No. In fact, I am Danaconda. Oh, shit! Oh. That's not gonna be confusing for everyone nope. at home. Dan named himself that in a previous game, Control I did? Yes. No, you're not Dan. No, oh, I I'm thought there. I was Dan. No, hit escape for me. Sure. Thank you. Sorry, calling through the, the keyboard away. Welcome to Matsa Prime Stimulus Pop Together. We don't need to read this. Start. Which animal an object do you think will make the best girlfriend or boyfriend? Provide you ain't criminally insane. An ATM. Sugar baby life, here I come. Mm. A dildo. Duh. A human-sized pillow depicting a character created by myself. As a matter of fact, I have all the needed paperwork, and I'm only waiting for the conservative, narrow-minded laws of our country to finally step forward into waifu and Hasbondo territory, and as was clearly intended by God. Well, that one's definitely mine on the bottom. It's an ATM. Sugar baby life, here we come. Same Z. Colon. Uh, dildo. Got it. Sorry, mid-step. ATM. I'm surprised for who you're going uh, for. Mine you is a uh, human-sized pillow depicting a character created myself. Bingo! Yeah, I, 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 bl I blew my plan already. Great. Super cool. Dan, go. We're starting over again. We're not. If you got to choose, how would you die? Silly. Death is a concept we invented to keep the commoners at check. How I die is irrelevant, as long as I'm allowed to haunt my enemies for the rest of eternity. As a practical demonstration while giving a TED Talk on how to die correctly. Ooh, I like <laughs> Commoners in check. Uh... Irrelevant for haunting reasons. Got it. Ted Talk. Ted Talk. Also Ted Talk. Ted Talk. Dan. Yo. Is that Grey Poupon, that Evian, that Ted Talk? Girl, yeah. If you do find your zodiac sign to be an inaccurate 
To be inaccurate. That one. Design your own personal zodiac sign. The randomly arranged set of stars. Love it. The now canon lovers. Okay. The regal 1%. Uh-huh. That rich bitch. Uh-huh. The cute pup. Uh-huh. The ambiguous iguana. Isn't that a Legends of the Hidden Temple team? I knew you were going <laughs> to say it, but yes. The uh, chamber of the ambiguous iguana. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't really care because I'm, I'm hoping to get some random ass side character. I'll say the randomly arranged set of stars because it makes me laugh. That yeah. one's pretty good. Colin? Rich bitch. Yeah, of course. A Daniel? Kendrock? The ambiguous iguanas because they don't have... Syrup sandwiches and uh, grandma. Lounge. I'm gonna say the regal one percent. <laughs> All right, Dang. damn it, it's not what I wanted. Colon. <clears throat> what would be the what would be most appealing in a love partner? Soft fur, big horn, very sandary personality. <laughs> Fifty gigabytes RAM, a taste for party or tentacles. Um, no humble. I never picked this one. A very sandary personality. I'm going for that too. Cool, Kendrick. Uh. Big horn. Got it. I'm gonna go with a taste for party, baby. Party! Party, party, party. Join us, join us. I wanna have a party. <laughs> nice. What is our party? We will always party on! Now, here's a question. Are we gonna keep our, our normal characters? What or should we mix it up? What you talk? Oh, I don't, oh, for voicing? Yeah. Um, I vote I vote outside of the, yeah, the, outside the of four our ones. We all pretty much have a, have a one. Yeah. Like, Nick is Polly. I usually do Zoe. I got I got Vera. You do Vera. Dan does Scott. We can rock paper scissors for the rest. Yeah, we can we can we can just throw the rest of them in the yeah we'll yeah we'll in the whatever bit. As is. I'll go library because money. Make that mons. Get that scroll. That's the plan. Hey there, Skrilla. Good, good uh, points on Skrilla. Found your pro. Let's check. You notice Vera all up in calculus just grill. She looks like she's all business, which for Vera is another way of saying all murder. Uh oh. <laughs> Who? Have we all been calculus before? Yeah. Yep. Neat. Who wants it? I'll take it. Go for it. Me. Go for it, Nikki. But Vera, using my vast computational, 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 <laughs> computational resources to secure the national bank passwords for you is a crime, and crimes are not nice. Nonsense. <clears throat> you know what else is a crime? Murder. And if murder isn't nice, well, then lock me up. Hmm. Actually, I've just gotten word from my lawyer that I ought to retract that previous statement. We're gonna say anything. Erasing all memory of previous 15 seconds, resuming conversation from last checkpoint. But Vera, using my vast computational <laughs> resources to secure the national bank passwords for you is a crime, and crimes are not nice. Good job, Nikki. I did it. <clears throat> this is coming dangerous and close to being a waste of time. Computational. Look out. I'm a weaker I'm people. Coach. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a weaker people. I ain't call fun of you. <laughs> you tell me those bank passwords, or I'll reassemble your component parts into a robot at will. Got it? Uh oh. Seems to be getting a little too intense. It's up to you to calm things down. But whose side will you take? But calculester, banks are full of money, and money's the root of all evil. Therefore, removing money from the banks makes them less evil. It's the right thing to do. Fear, your mouse asks for bank passwords, but your eyes are asking for confetti! And your body's telling me yes. Analyzing syllogism. You did it! Wow! Proud of you! Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I'll take Miami now. Mm -hmm. Or is it a Tony? Do I get a Tony? Yes. You get a Nikki. I get a Nikki award. Nikki, you know what you get? What? A cold one for the boys! Cold I... ones with the boys! You get a Yamcha! <laughs> if evil is greater than money, therefore, money is evil. Argument is deductively valid. Criminal activity legitimized. One exception detected. If Vera receives all money taken this way, how will she be booked? Bleh. How will she avoid becoming evil? Becoming? Uh, I mean, there's nothing to worry about, Captain Lester, darling. M money can't turn me evil. Because my various holding companies prevent me from ever technically having any. Uh, I understand. Evading corruption is very similar to evading taxes. <laughs> exactly. I've always said taxes were evil. Exception successfully handed. Handled. Nope. <laughs> Crime is now defined as virtuous. Transferring passwords. Give me money! You're so busy enjoying the champagne brunch Vera holds to celebrate, you don't even think about the potential long-term consequences of your actions. But what else is new? You gain plus two money and plus one fun. Nice, yeah. I've already had 13 money on the first round. If Damn, anything huh? I feel like buying, I could just buy it. Damn, girl. Uh, Your life just went viral. Oh, no. 
<laughs> my creativity is a one. No, you're fine. Yeah. Ooh, you're yeah. fine. Yeah. Ooh. Don't do it, Colin. I was like, I might need that. You weren't looking for creativity. I don't know what you were just looking, looking for. for. Well, fun with your friends. Let's see. For the character, I think well, you're for cold in. ones with the boys. You need That's smarts. What I'm I think it's smart. By the way, in case you guys are wondering, smart bold, I think it's smart boldness. Money. Every episode of this playthrough is just going to be called Cold Ones of the Boys. I was literally planning on naming this Cold Ones of the Boys. <laughs> I would be so happy. Up. You all better be drinking something. Later, you come across Damien and Vera in the hallway, nonchalantly holding a locker shut with all their strength. So normally I'm Damien, but I will pass it off to one of the two of you who only have one voice so far. Or it. any of you, really. I'm going to take it so I can read all the dialogue. No, Dan, no. Dan already called it. Dan can be Damien. That's fine. Yeah, why not? Dan. Do it. The locker has a sign on it that says, nothing to see here, and is screaming. It's me, coach! <laughs> I'm good! <laughs> I'm going to take coach. Shut the hell up, you! Are you just making Vince McMahon? Yes. Cool. I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm so into I'm it. I'm for it. Adorable, fluffy, little fluffy. You see, we're spending quality time with our new pet. Isn't that right, Damien? From somewhere within the locker, you hear, My parents will pay anything! Before Damien kicks the door. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Adorable, quiet, fluffy. Who's gonna stay quiet if he knows what's good for him? Dan, did you do this because he says fire a lot? No. No, but that's a really good side effect. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. really for it. You no, know, I don't really have a great track record with pets. I had some mice for half a day, but my hair ain't all of them. Shut up! I mean, it sure would be a shame if our new pet died before we receive <laughs> the true joy of pet ownership. I'm sorry, I just saw the waveform for every time you do that voice, and it is just peeking the fuck yeah, out of yeah, our, our audio is right now. But that's what real Vince McMahon does. Yeah, that's, that's blows <laughs> audio like he blows quads <laughs> and yeah. and his crotch, hey. groin. Excuse me. Yes, yes exactly. That's Great sweet, fruits. sweet bank account filling. Filthy, rich, making joy of pet ownership. <laughs> Surely you have lots of knowledge about pet care. Why not share some of it? You know what pets love? Hardcore death metal all the time to drown out their noises. If you love something, set it free. Just plan a tracking device first. Are we going to try to get people we don't have, by the way? Uh, you can do whatever you want. Uh, there's a scheme I can get behind. In front of and all over. Our beloved pet believes he has his freedom to stop struggling so much. Yeah, all good pet owners microchip them, and we'll keep this close tab, close, close, too many closes, close tabs, and make sure he doesn't. Do not buy a car or impregnate the neighborhood pets. My daughter Stephanie. <laughs> Brendan Stephanie. <laughs> and we can knock him out first so he doesn't even know he's microchipped. And it'll be smooth sailing right up until. Give him a sleepy Toledo. <laughs> until our bed is housebroken. <laughs> Are they some kind of broken? That has been. I have so much confidence in this plan that I'm going to go ahead and order the blood, those blood diamond earrings. The suffering of labor is mix, makes them so much sparklier. Oh, the joy of knowing that crime truly does pay. Ow. You gain plus two boldness, <laughs> plus one fun. I was like, yeah, Dan, I don't know if you're going to be able to keep that voice up for too Once long. You get that, Shut up! I, I, you get you, I can let you smoke half my pack of cigarettes if that'll help. Just tear up your throat naturally. I'm just waiting until oh, we no. get a, a Damien Scott scene. Oh, oh God. Shut up. We're all going to go deaf. Uh, let's go oot doors. All right. Go for that oot door. That day at recess. Stuff. Fun. fun. <laughs> you're bored and doodling in your notebook <laughs> when... Damien suddenly <laughs> appears. What the fuck is this doodle? Is that me? Am I cuddling shirtless with Liam? Oh, fuck I think yeah. this is a secret ending. Dibs. I don't remember this one. Mm. Right. Yeah, Yowie is high art, right? What? I think so. Dude, if you were looking for a shortcut to the morgue, this is your lucky day. Give me one good reason not to cut all your face with my fist. Oh no, they discovered your erotic fan art of them. You can't think of any way to calm down the both of them, but maybe the right answer can calm down one of them? What the fuck is this? This fuckery, dear Damien, is art. I present to you, Yowie. I think there's a secret ending and that's how you start it. I believe. Don't be silly. You don't want to fight me. You're clearly fighting against your urge for cuddling. Oh damn. Ooh, I think I'm gonna go Yowie. I, I, think, I think you have to. Right? Okay. Go, do it. Calm down, Damien. You're such a bigot. I've heard about this yaoi. It's a mil 
millenary? Mil millenary? Millenary. 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 millenary form of art from the East. A delightful celebration of love and desire. What? And I must admit, this piece is full of raw talent. Look at the strokes, the expressions, the suggestive placement of the hand. It conveys so much with so little. Dude. Are you high? Yes. Look at this other one. You're <laughs> fucking pregnant. This, this is insanity. Someone draw me some Liam M. Preg now. <laughs> I'm sure it's already out there. Probably. Yeah, for sure. It's not insanity, but neither is this what. Er, but neither is this one exactly Yowie. It's M. Preg. See? <laughs> Behold, what a way of standing up against the gender status quo. They're changing the world one pregnant doodle at a time. Doodle? No! That's what there's no way you can convince me this shit isn't weird, or wrong, or problematic! I'm out of this plot line! Guess he's stuck with Liam now! Ignore him, Kendrick. I've, uh, I've been searching for the pinnacle of art for generations! Little did I know it was here all along, in the ancient form of Yaoi. Will you accept me as your student? May I call you Sensei? I think this is a good thing. You gain plus two creativity and plus one smart. Mate. The delicious Danaconda. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the cash room. Is it, a, is it an alliterative asshole? You listen to your elders and learn valuable life lessons. Blah, 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 two smarts. After you've, after you're eavesdropping on Miranda and Polly, waiting for the perfect moment to mention your influx of Insta followers when... Never fear, my lady! You suck my dick, Kyle! You need not fight over me! <laughs> oh, let's tag team it. I'm down. All right. Him again? Kyle, get up front. I'm sorry. That's you, Kyle. It looks just like you. Oh, yeah. right. I see. I normally do Miranda, so it's weird. As royalty myself, I must say that even I find him to be... What's the term you use, Polina? Extra AF. Friendship between two beautiful maidens shouldn't be soared, soured, soured over one as handsome, rich, and humble as. I. Be humble! <laughs> Damn it. Be sit, sit down! down. <laughs> but worry not, my sweet summer salads. Be full circle. I have found the perfect solution to protect your feeble hearts. You shall both marry me! I've dealt with male entitlement before, but this is officially the next level. Yes, an interdimensional level, as our collective wedding will be. As well. <laughs> this, yeah, not interested. Is this a clever workaround to you forgetting your lines? Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> You're hardly the first prince to seek my royal hand in courtship, and I don't see that you're bringing much to the table. Interdimensional table, and I am the definition of marriage material. Uh. You'll never find a better suitor! I have a castle! I can defeat anyone at anything! I'll show you! I'll fight! Lines. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Her>. <laughs> um, is the interdimensional prince pointing directly at you? Why is your life like this? That's like the ultimate line of Monster Prime, is why is your life like this? Yep. I can't defeat you, or nope. I can defeat you at any challenge! Name, weapon, and prepare to lose! There was a yore in there, but who cares? You don't know that for a fact. <laughs> <laughs> Miranda and Polly are watching you closely. Maybe you can skew the prince's challenge to really impress one of them. You know what would be wild? Naked fencing with live weasels instead of swords. I wonder who that's for. I imagine that's Polly. Um, also guess. fun as fuck. Um, as a royal, you must fancy yourself pretty clever. Let's see you win at losing! It smells like creativity. It's charm. The bottom one? Uh, oh, oh I could charm. See, I, I, feel I like blew this. I blew this. Then whatever playthrough. Yeah, it was several ago. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. No. Catch a tiger by the toe. This one. Fuck! Coach is a tiger. Fuck! Very <laughs> well! <laughs> <laughs> this is what you wish, and so be it. Both you and the prince quickly undress, thus giving your respective weave. Weasels, ample, fleshy targets. I told you it was fun. Fleshy, ample weasels. Oh. Ample, fleshy Oh, my. Damn, this is a great challenge. Uh, Fuck. You, you may have underestimated exactly what was going on underneath those sparkly space clothes. Uh, um, I believe it may be best for me to go now and ask my father how he feels about polygamous marriages for his daughters. Yeah, totally. Go. <laughs> Yeah, totally go definitely do that and let me know what he says. Normally, I don't know, I'd be willing to spend the rest of my life with you, Mary, but for that... Oh, at least I got some love out of Polly. 
the interdimensional prince proudly strikes a pose and you want to die. <laughs> yeah, it's my life. Curse is chiseled form. You lose negative two charm and one fun. Oh. I don't know. Let's I'm trade this places. Game. <laughs> Everyone chooses a song. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Hold on, my chance with more. Fuck you, Colin. Ha -ha! Um, Sunflower by Post Malone. Woo! Real American by Rick Derringer. Wow. Hulk Hogan's theme song, by the way, Nick. Okay. So that you that I know that one. Yeah. There's also uh, an yeah. Pretty Woman. Bye. Pretty Woman. It's Roy Orbison. I don't know who that is. Walking down the street. Brand new woman. Oh, damn it. You got None of us think you get your shot. Damn it. Uh, sorry, also, no, everyone, late. please, for the love of God, Google, did you get your shots, R. Kelly? Just Yo, thank me later. I will take first place immediately. Play thank you. decided based on how much more patriotic you Yeah. Kyle. Yeah, Real American by Rick Derringer. Also, I think I want to take second because Pretty Woman is pretty fucking American. I mean, yeah, but I got American. Kendrick, and he's the embodiment it's, of the American dream. It's just patriotic. What was so, the channel? So is Post Malone. Post Malone didn't drag Sub himself fire. off the street, the rough streets of Detroit. Good guess, assume that Detroit. Detroit. I don't know. Ask Kendrick Lamar. I might be wrong. I think I'm going to take it because they can't argue. We're not arguing. They're arguing. No, we're, we're talking. <laughs> it's about a discussion. <laughs> it's an argument against Nick. Didn't know the guy who did the song. I don't know any of the guys. I don't who think did any songs. of yours count as patriotic. How is Pretty Woman not patriotic? How What's is it patriotic? It was What's about a... Sorry, pretty Woman. Pretty Woman. Walking down the street. Pretty Woman. The kind I'd like to meet. Thank you. <laughs> no, Pretty Woman. <laughs> he wanted you to keep going. I'm going to beat my feet. <laughs> no, that's not the line. All right, who gives a shit? Let's go. <laughs> oh, no. I was driving, so whatever. <laughs> Colin, you don't drive. Can I You're shop? Yeah, I can shop. August. All right, so I don't. Mm -hmm. Let's Nobody just see what happens. happens. Mm -hmm. Oh, you missed me and my shit, huh? <laughs> Worry no more. All this shit can be yours if you have the money. Not me though. That's not true. Incorrect. I belong to call him. All right, already. so. Uh, oh, there's a couple I can get here. Oh my yes. God, the choo choo one. <laughs> you know what you must. That, it's it's that very for, important. Isn't that for Blobber? Yeah. Do it. There's also this for the coven. Counterpoint. Dibs. Or this for Shovel Knight. No. Blobber. 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 Choo choo choose you. It's a Simpsons reference that I don't understand. Yeah. Uh, hey Kyle, that's nothing better than smell money. What's up? You. you choo choo choo. I bet my Wookiee. Okay. Um, this <laughs> I'm is Nick. Anaconda. All right. That legit uh, is throwing me now. <laughs> like, <laughs> good. Good. That was the whole plan, apparently. Well, Polly likes me, but I want Liam to give me some love. You approach Liam and Vera's table to find them thoughtfully tasting several glasses of wine. The school has literally no rules, apparently. Oh, wine. That most exclusive of beverages, even a vampire such as myself cannot resist its class and allure. You know a lot about you know a lot about wine, then. I'm having dinner with the King of France next week, and I could use some pointers. I will stab you in both your goddamn eyes. <laughs> yeah, you take that. You rewind that way out, man. Rewind. Zero. Play. You know a lot about wine. I'm having dinner with the King of France next week. I can use some pointers. You know what we should do? We should have done. Like a who's line game where someone else can yell pause, you have to switch voice actors in the middle of sentences. That'd be pretty I mean, we already right. did that with the king. No, but for everybody. No, fuck that. Yeah, next next playthrough, maybe. France doesn't have a king anymore. That's what the media wants you to think. So, you know anything about water or not? Alas, in my centuries of living, I've only learned how to look good holding wine, not how to evaluate it. Uh, all I know is that it, I'm, not, I'm not drinking another glass of that one. <laughs> Mm. There are points in a bottle with Polly's toilet wine written on it in permanent marker. Love it. Sorry, Nick was mid cold one. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> toilet wine. What I wouldn't. Uh. Damn it. <laughs> what I wouldn't give for an experienced sommelier to help to help us judge which wine is best. I'm pretty sure that says sommelier. That's French. That makes sense. And I only and again I only know that word because Fraser. Fair enough. <laughs> you know nothing about wine, but you're pretty sure most sommeliers just make stuff up. Sommelier, Thank I guess. You. Just make stuff up anyway. Kyle Use Swavely recommends. Right. Nothing, nothing on Swavely? Nope. No, that's a great word. <laughs> Very suave of you. <laughs> try the sayonara. <laughs> try the try, try the sangria. Take Damn it, pears, but seafood and blood. Blue. Or <laughs> the tannins in this robust Malbec are an elegant way to mask the taste of poison. Perfect for diplomatic missions. I, like I want to pork call so whoopsies. You know, the pronounced sweetness and citrus flavors would go well with an unholy blood meal. Hmm? 
I've always tried to pair Pinot Noir with blood, you know, because Noir means dark, like my soul. And I've always avoided sangria because of the little bits of fruit in it made it seem uh, inauthentic. Nick, I just want to point this out. Yeah. You Dan's, up my Dan's on a secret ending with Liam. How dare you? I am also on a secret ending with Liam. You're Are not. You? I am. But I suppose the clue is in the title, isn't it? This truly is a new dawn for sanguine cuisine. Also, if he didn't want me to fuck with him, he shouldn't have picked my blue bitch. Also, if we didn't, since we didn't do it last time I got this one, I demand this episode be called sangween cuisine. <laughs> oh, no, absolutely not. <laughs> it's cracking over to call one with the boys. Yeah, you, will, you will like it. You're right. Well, not done. Of course I'm right. I titled the episode. Well, not done, per se, but mm, let's say a new dusk. Yeah, a new dusk for sangween cuisine. Someone who, who does not literally drink blood, I'm afraid I can't share your enthusiasm. But I do like to imagine vampires getting chunks of fruit stuck between their fangs. <laughs> I love when she makes that face. <laughs> She's so happy. You mean Vera's regular face? Yeah, I like her regular face. She's all, right. All of her various shit-eating grins. Yeah. yeah. Liam ignores her. He's too busy gazing at you over the rim of his glass. <laughs> He's a little drunk, but you don't judge. What ending are you on? Go. I already forgot what you did in the first okay. round. I'm gonna bang her and Polly at the same time! Two her? Bang. Uh, Polly and Liam. Well, I can't bang Liam right, right now. Yeah, no, you can't. You're you're throwing him off here. That's rude. Hey, you did to me. You guys can poke at me all you want, but I'm gonna park them both. Whatever. You Whatever. Want, it's just that? a game. Yeah, you sit down with Scott and Zoe just as Zoe cracks open the cold one. Where with she the for lunch. You're not sure what's inside, but it sounds like it's oh. screaming. Whoa, Zoe! What are you eating? Is it pizza? I love pizza! Ah, uh, no, Scott. Whoa! <laughs> Rudeness. I wasn't gonna do it. What happened to switching it up, Kyle? I wasn't well, gonna we all, do all, it. All ever four that we were. Are we all? Yeah, whatever. Four? Just go. I'm just asking uh, you. No, Scott. It's not pizza. It's I'm me, eat, the coach. <laughs> I'm on a special coachly diet where I only eat salmon. <laughs> I'm shoved inside the Tupperware. And dodgeball. I'm here to make sure you're eating your greens. <laughs> Get your reference, kids. Dan's waiting patiently. Sanity. Oh, sanity. Ow. I bet this <laughs> truck full of protein. So many ears. <laughs> yeah, all six of them are deaf now. Not really. It's mostly chock full of horror. It's better fresh, but that's a lot messier. When I come to school, I pack leftovers in this Tupperware instead. So smart! What does sanity taste like? Well, you know when you're sucking the marrow out of the ethereal bone fragments harvested from the carcass of a rival deity you've slain? I don't think I've ever eaten a rival deity. Do I have a rival deity? <laughs> Is it fireworks? I hate fireworks. Look at Scott. No, no, no. Let's see. You ever drunk a child's tears filtered through its mother's severed scalp while an orchestra plays a tuneless melody on instruments of flesh? Skin flute? I yeah. had pizza! Is that close? Nah. Not really. It's more like cashews. Cashews and shrimp. Oh, cool! I knew it was high in protein! Can I try some? Can I? Well, it's not really for mortals. But Scott looks so excited! You've got to figure out a way to resolve this situation. Scott, sanity is extremely high in cholesterol. Why don't you just eat some cashews and shrimp smothered in this malignant insanity? Hot sauce I brought. But what if Scott uses this crazy straw? Oh. <laughs> Ooh, crazy straws are fun. Dan, your Scott voice gives me life. Thank you. It's my favorite thing. Drinking sanity through a crazy straw? Oh, wow, that's so smart. It'll cancel itself out and I'll be fine. Chair. Yeah, you're a chair. Huh? I think we just all have a ringing in our ears from when he started doing the Scott no, voice. there's a chair somewhere. I heard it. No, that's not even close to how it works. <laughs> yum, yum, here I go! All yum, I yum, now. here I go is so, definitely Dan's catchphrase. That's all I hear now, there's an echo somewhere. Okay, Scott, that's enough sanity. It's the, it's the cans. Stop drinking the sanity. Yeah, like all the cans that we have next to the, the mic. I'm not Scott, I'm a tractor! Woof, woof! <laughs> Tractors don't say woof, woof, Scott. Oh, really? Which one of us is a tractor here? You or me? Neither of us. That's not what my new friend, Mr. Goat, says! He's great! He's a koala! <laughs> Zoe gives up trying to talk sense to Scott. Scott lets you ride him all around school while he attempts to harvest grass with his face. It's, it's a real bonding experience. I move the empty oh, cans. I think it's the empty, it's the empty can. You want, it. Would you like me to test to see if the cans? No. I can. I was like, we're about to. You've already yelled enough. <laughs> Damn. 
Friend Damien, I am having trouble getting a positive ID on the objects in your possession. Would you like to declare their components? Sure thing, Robora, Robo Bro, Robro, Robo Bro, you nailed it. You got it. What I have here is a can of what? A gasoline, nice. a lighter, <laughs> and the grid of a madman about to set a cafeteria table on fire, and then my limo is gonna blow up. <laughs> I comprehend now. It would seem to me that the most logical extrapolia extrapolation 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 is that you are about to set the cafeteria table on fire. I wonder how many kids we've taught me, me. taught words because of this game. Oh, got it. I mean, shot. you mean taught me? I learned a lot. That's true. Nick knows how to read. He just has to go bleh to fix himself. That's yeah, all. it's it's my rewind. Uh, You're uh, to hit, eh? Damn, calculator. <laughs> how much plus smarts must you have to figure out that mystery out? Figure out the mystery out. There it is. <laughs> My Back intelligence cannot be calculated using your overly simplistic methods. I like a shark. Thank you. However, my morality module indicates that setting a cafeteria table on fire is not within the bounds of acceptable school behavior. In fact, it seems to me in my metaphorical but not literal heart that it is not nice. Huh? Did I say it was going to be nice? No, I said it was going to be awesome. Running back conversation to check for phrase. Gonna be awesome. Error, phrase not found. No, friend Damien, you never said it was going to be awesome. I didn't need to. It was implying the grin of a madman part. Calculus, sir, why are you trying to ruin my fun? It's a matter of perspective, Calculus. <clears throat> Where you, where you see a table, Damien sees wood to set a flame to. To which to set a flame? Or to which... No, no, I'm correcting oh. them. Go ahead. Yeah. To cook his food. So Damien is totally in the right to set it on fire. Or, calculus is right, Damien. Be responsible. Don't set fire to this table. Set fire to the cafeteria table designated for arson. You know, the green one by the door with in case of needing to set fire to a table on it. Ah, uh, yes, we all have one. It's right next to the peanut free table. I don't want to go with that one just because it's funnier. Do what you do. Yes, friend Damien. Friend Colin is correct. We must always obey the rules. The rules of Asimov. The rules of Spooky High. The rules of the universe. With all of its structure and order. Fuck structure and order. Fuck Asimov. And fuck Spooky High. And fuck the universe. Screw the universe. <laughs> Stupid universe. Make you things like tables you're not supposed to set fire to. But Damien, Nick is still on his phone. <laughs> Rules are there for a reason. All things are there for a reason. Get wrecked. Like the designated arson table. I didn't realize my voice had been taken over because he did a good job. The in reason the designated arson table <laughs> was there is so you could commit arson. <laughs> What I don't want to do it. It follows the rules. I want to commit arson and set the rules on fire. Oh, Jesus. But friend Damien, if you set this table on fire, clearly Crazy Martin, the werebear janitor, will give you detention and will set nothing more on fire so for the day. Janitors give you detention. Janitors are badass. Never forget that, That's kids. Whereas if you set the arson table on fire, you may be free to set many more things on fire for the duration of this day and every day. <laughs> Dope. <laughs> Thank you, friend Colin, for helping me talk sense into Damien. I think we did a good deed here today. Oh, you're welcome, Cal. A good deed and spooky high. Perish the thought. Are we going to do this this time or next time, Best Buds? Let's speak out one more. Okay. Yeah. Everyone choose the TV show. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players in Blue's Clues. Blue's Clues. Blue's Clues. Blue's Clues. Blue's Clues. Thank you. Nice. Well done. Um, yeah, say, da, 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 thank you, chair, thank, thank, thank. thank. God damn it! Everybody name your show. We won't stop. Time. We should do anything. Don't forget to smash remember? that bell. Yeah. <laughs> I wish Laura was crush, here. crush that like button. I'll use it in Laura's honor, so she's not here. Look around you. If any of you guys remember that show. That yeah. Acapella blues. That was a good one. Look around gonna, you was classic. I'm going to say you can't do that on television. Mm. Great Canadian Classic in the other direction. Yeah. I'm going to go. Harvey Birdman. Attorney, Attorney Law. Hey, bud. 
Player orders decide based on how plausible it would be for the show to be a secret plan by anti-vaxxers to convince the general audience that vaccinations are a bad thing. Vaccinations? Vaccinations. Look, Vaccine. look around you. Yeah. Look around you is literally a show about awkward learnings. Fair, but I'm still going to say Blue's Clues. It, <laughs> Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm not yet. Yeah, I kind of got to agree mean, with that. I can't, I can't dispute that. You can use that. I'm, I'm, I'm Thank take, you. I'm you, taking you, two at least. Blue, what did you find? An empty needle? <laughs> <laughs> what, Blue? You say that th this is... You You got a measles shot when you were a baby, and now you're autistic? <laughs> <laughs> That's Blue. why you only make that noise? <laughs> You're Why? saying you're not even a dog? That's <laughs> Why did you put your paw get... prints on everything? <laughs> uh, we're learning about Oh, it's a coping it, mechanism. HIV okay. today. Um, all right. I'm at least taking two. What the hell? <laughs> I'll give it to Blue's Clues, but JC. What was yours again, Colin? I don't know. Um, <laughs> Harvey Birdman, attorney at law. <laughs> or, I want to say that that would be it because Bird I love flew. that show. Both but yours again? You can't do that on television. It's a show. Canadian. It's mind it control. All right. Canadian mind control. You already, already got it, Nikki. Can All you right. let me know when we're doing next time on Best Buds? Sure. Can next time on Best Buds. No, are we doing it now? Sure. Why not? Okay. No. Yeah. It's fine. No. Because now it's time for so long. Well, do, 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 but we'll do. sing just one more song. Do, 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 Thanks for doing your part. And be smart, smart, you know, with me and you. And, and my dog blue, <laughs> we can do anything <laughs> that we wanna do. Bye bye. bye, -bye.